Hi, my name is Parker and I'm the developer of Twos, an app that helps you simply remember things. We recently came out with a new feature called Toggled Headers, which allows you to clean and organize information better. So we can see here, my dev items, these are a bunch of dev related things that are sitting underneath this dev thing, which can now be toggled as long as the things underneath are indented. So in this video, there are four things that I wanna talk about for a toggle header. The first is how to create a toggle header. To create a toggle header, all you need to do is indent things. So we could say top level one, two, three. And these things are indented underneath. All you need to do is press spacebar at the front of it or tap. And then it automatically gets this toggle so we can collapse those things. It's automatic. You don't have to do anything special besides just indent things. The second thing I wanna talk about is the difference between when a header is toggled or not. So the first is with drag and drop. If it's not toggled, then each thing is dragged individually. But if I were to toggle it closed and then drag and drop, we can see that the things will come with it. So that's a nice little way to reorganize a bunch of things at one time. The next thing is inserting. When it's opened and I press enter to insert a new thing, it will add it below it so that I can add maybe zero there. And then when it's closed, if I press enter, it will just insert below, so hey, and then that thing is just below the toggled header. The next thing is indent. If it's toggled open, indent doesn't indent all of the things. It will just do that one thing. But if it's toggled closed and I indent, everything inside of here will indent. And then we can see that since these are indented underneath this one, I can then toggle the top level one. So it really works on any level. Last but not least is select. If it's open and I select, it will just select the one thing. But if I have it closed and I select, you'll actually see that it selects all of the things underneath, which is really nice for if I wanted to maybe move this to tomorrow, I can say move here, pick tomorrow. And then if I go to tomorrow, we'll see those things are still toggled together. I can move this back to today and we'll see the same thing. We'll just see those things at the bottom. The next thing is turning a toggled header into a sublist. So the benefits of having a sublist are that it can be its own list, similar to this toggle headers list. So if I wanted to turn this into a sublist, I would actually want it to be open so that it doesn't select everything at once. I can just select the top thing do sublist, it will detect any matching sublists that have top level in them. I can say new sublist and the things that were underneath the toggle will automatically be added to the sublist. And then I'll also have this open sublist button if I wanted to open just that list. Another big benefit is search. If I wanted to find that thing more easily, it is much easier to search for a list rather than a thing. The last thing to discuss are the keyboard shortcuts. Let me undo this sublist. So in order to toggle one of these, if you hit command or control and then press enter, it will toggle that header. And if I wanna toggle all of the headers within a list and even all of the sublists, you can do command option, which will be control alt on Windows plus T, and it will toggle all of the headers as well as all of the sublists. And then again, if you do command alt T again, it will collapse all of the headers. All right, that's it. They are now available on the desktop app as well as in the mobile app, and it is coming to Android probably tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Have a happy Tuesday.